Hey Gemini, welcome back to our channel. I'm here today to do your December monthly reading. So Gemini, while I was pre-shuffling your cards, I had the Five of Pentacles to come out along with the Four of Pentacles. So there is either a increase. I saw the Four of Pentacles, no, the Five of Pentacles first and then the Four of Pentacles. I feel like there might be a decrease in some money, but... What I mostly got from the four and the five of pentacles is that someone that you could be holding on to or a situation that you're holding on to, you feel left out in the cold by someone and you're holding on to this person. Um, let me see what's, what's going on. You're holding on to someone or something that you feel betrayed or you went through a lot with. If you don't feel left out in the cold by this person, you definitely went through some rough times with someone or something that you're holding on to. So the first card that popped out is your card. We have the lovers. Could be dealing with another Gemini. But to me, that just kind of flipped out as soon as I said um, someone or something. So this just clarifies to me for some of you, for most of you, this is a someone. Someone that you feel very connected to. Someone that is a soulmate or very, very close partner. Um, whether past or present. You are holding on to them. And you could have went through some rough times with this person. You could have also felt left out in the cold or betrayed by this person. But let's little read a little further into it and see what it says. Yeah, so Five of Cups energy. Could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this, this situation is bothering you a little bit. Like you have a whole situation behind you or you're not focused on uh, a two of cups scenario that's behind you. You're focused on spilled milk. You're focused on love that was lost. With the three cups um, spilt facing towards the lovers, this is definitely a love loss. And I get that you should not be focused on that right now. You have too many things on your plate that you're not that you're procrastinating on, that you're not focusing on. This one situation has got you kind of depressed, kind of sad for the most part. This is for most people. And I get that whoever has this situation, you have so much stuff going on in your life right now. You don't have time to focus on that. Could be a Virgo that we're talking about the hermit card, or you could just be in like a hermit mode, kind of like staying to yourself. Um, with her clothes and her laptop, I feel like you're staying away from social media. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone who's very like spicy, very passionate person, very spicy person, or you have a lot of passion for this person, or they're a very passionate person. You see them as a queen or a king. Like you see them as very, um, they probably could, you probably feel like they're a bitch to you. Excuse my French. I got to bleep that out. You feel like they're probably a, a little mean to you, I'll say. Yeah, you definitely are kind of like, or, 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 what I just got with that hermit card, you're checking somebody's social media too. So you might be watching their social media. Um, Damn. This person is like, um, they got you stressed out. Or either this is them about you. This could be them feeling this way about you. They may feel like they lost something. And they have so many other things going on. But I feel like this is from the perspective of the Gemini. I don't get that this is a reading for them. I get this is a reading for you. And you're in your head about something. You're taking a break from some situation that has you set upset. It has you like upset. You're not, you're not. With the four of swords in this, I don't get someone that's taking a break. I get an anxiety. That girl is giving me anxiety in this picture. 
She's giving me like a woe is me tea, like a nine of swords tea. And you're going to get some truth from this person or about the situation. You're going to get some type of honest truth. You're going to get some truth. You're going to get some truth shit, some light shit on this situation, Gemini, in December. It's like you're waiting for this person to give you that passion back, right? It's, it could be a Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio. Also, this person might be in hermit mode. This might how they be with you. Like if you call, they get an eye message from you. They check it, but then they close it and they look and see it's you and you contact them and they just kind of... And if it is them doing this to you, they probably... It's, it's probably not anything personal because I did I just did Pisces reading and Pisces is on a you know a change journey they're on a healing journey so I don't think if you're dealing with a Pisces this this you know isn't I don't feel like this is about you or whatever water sign for that matter because if this is a water sign what this tells me is that person is in hermit mode and it's not you might feel like they're being a bi to you but they're not actually they're probably on some healing mode they're probably waiting for their healing to come in um Okay, so the last two we had was the Page of Cups and the Tower. So something may shake this situation up or shake you up. Oh, oh, this is never good when it's just coming out. So somebody is lying about something. Somebody's being mad deceitful, yo. I don't know if it's you. Somebody's lying. Somebody, somebody's not being truthful about something. Somebody's not telling the truth about something. And I get that with the, the three of wands facing this ace of swords. It's like you're waiting for the truth about this situation. But some of you, I ain't trying to be funny. Some of y'all might get the sense that something is, is not working out or... If this is you being, you know, deceitful, you know, bad Gemini. But if this is the other person and you have like a five of cups energy about somebody you're in a relationship with. They might be treating you like this, but then they, 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 they're like, they're born in like hermit mode from you. And something kind of changes them up. Like something shakes the situation up to cause them to go from this to this. I can't really tell what this is. I feel like somebody's going to have to start over. That's all I heard. Somebody's going to have to start over. I don't know particularly what that means. For who? And I, I got to say this. I don't want to say it. With the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Wands, I get somebody is like, somebody's cheating. I hate to say it. I feel like somebody's cheating. You're going to get the truth about it. Like, I feel like some people, whoever this applies to, somebody already knows. Somebody already knows. Someone's being mad sneaky, sneaking off, offering love to somebody else. Or somebody's offering love to them and they're being sneaky about it. They may not be even be acting on it, but they're definitely being deceitful. And, um... With the tower card with the queen of cups and then the page of cups following i feel like somebody gets broken down because there's the breakdown with the tower there's a shake-up foundation and then the queen of cups goes to the page somebody gets broken down by something that shakes their world up i don't know if it's you going on hermit mode on them because of what you may find out or you going hermit mode on them because you doing something deceitful. Somebody going hermit mode on somebody else. I don't know what it is, but it looks like somebody is not giving someone else the attention that they desire or something. And somebody's looking elsewhere, like looking towards, looking for something. They're waiting on something else. 
or either you or them are waiting on the truth. But the truth is, there is deceit, there is deception. There is deception in the synagogue. You hear me? Mm -hmm. And somebody knows. Somebody's like, they're like, you know how you be knowing something is going on and somebody else try to make you feel like you're crazy? But you're like, man, I need a break from this because I know something is going on. And you gonna, somebody going to get the truth. But somebody going to get broken down before 2020. Going into January, somebody's going to get broken down, Gemini. I don't know if it's you or you break this person down, but it's happening. It is happening. And I, I really got all signs here. Like I got water, I got air, I got fire. Only thing I really don't have is earth. But for sure, for sure, you got a Virgo, a Gemini. I said Virgo, a Gemini. No earth, but definitely air, water, and fire. And one, only one thing earth is the hermit card, but that specifically speaks to Virgo. So you know what? We're going to check in with the December mid-monthlies. Um, hopefully everything is going great. I will definitely see you guys for the 2020 readings. I'm, I'm going to do a whole all 2020 reading for all signs. And then I'm going to do a January reading for each sign. But I will check in with you guys with the December mid-monthlies. I'm so interested in how this is about to continue forward. It's like a, a soap drama. Yes. I hope all is well, Gemini, though, in all seriousness. I'll check in with you guys with the mid-monthlies for December. Okay, Gemini, thank you so much for watching and gracing me with your presence. See you later, guys.